you guys welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title of today's video we are doing the summer lovin tag way back in like 2014 fleur de force actually created this tag i was kind of googling and i was like i want to find something summery but that's not too deep or whatever um for it's kind of like a fun tag so this came up i watched fleur's video from 2014 and i was like you know what I think I need to do this. So we're just gonna jump into the questions. The first one is summer lipstick you're loving. That's what I have on my lips today. It is the MAC Cosmetics Cream Sheen Lipstick. Nope, it's not Cream Sheen, I apologize. It is the Luster Lipstick in the shade Syrup. Um, it's like a mauvey pink. Looks like this. By far my favorite summer lipstick. I don't like wearing liquid lips in the summer. I find my lips get too dry and they just, they get like right bleh. This just doesn't look nice on me. Summer nail polish. Um, it's back here. The summer nail polish I am loving is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in Get Mod. It is a white polish. I love white nail polish. Um, it is my favorite white pot nail polish that I think I've ever worn. Um, it definitely stays on my nails for almost two weeks when I have it on. I have other colors from the line, like all their pastels, all their grays. They work really, 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 really well, and they last a long time. I type nine, ten hours a day for my job, and it doesn't, like, they don't chip. I don't have my nails done right now. But generally, if my nails are done in the summer, that is the color that I use. Bikini I'm loving. I don't wear bikinis. <laughs> I don't go swimming. I don't like going swimming. I get ear infections if I get water in my ears, so it kind of keeps me from going swimming at all. Um, I just don't like the pain that comes with it after I go swimming. And I do have a bikini. It's a tankini, and I don't wear it a lot. I don't like it. I just, I don't feel comfortable in a bathing suit, so I just don't wear it. Favorite summer frappuccino from Starbucks. The s'mores frappuccino is by far my favorite frappuccino that Starbucks has ever made, but I am more of an iced coffee girl. I just like a straight up caramel iced coffee. Favorite fake tan. I don't use fake tan. Um, I'm just a pasty white Newfoundlander who's not meant to tan. And even with a fake tan, it just doesn't look right on me. I have used the Sally Hansen airbrush legs, like spray on tan. If I'm like doing, going to an event or something, I will like put a little bit of color on my legs if I'm wearing a shorter dress. But that's about the extent of my fake tan skills. Question number six, favorite summer song? Summer, Summer Night by Alan Doyle. Um, it's on a week at the warehouse on that album, the third solo album. It's just a really good song and it's all about getting drunk and singing songs with your friends on the beach, the way summer was intended. Favorite summer accessory. I mean, this is my year long accessory, but my Fitbit is probably my favorite summer accessory because the summer gives me more motivation to go for walks and like do adventures and do challenges with my friends in the Fitbit app. So that's really fun. Favorite summer fragrance. If I'm if I have a perfume on, I don't wear it very often, but if I have perfume, you best be betting. It is Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. This is so old and I still wear it and I really like it and I love it. I don't even know how old it is, but it is by far my favorite perfume I've ever worn. Uh, summer book you are loving. I listen to books on Audible all the time. Um, I literally today, this morning, while I was like cleaning and doing laundry and stuff finished listening to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and I will obviously start Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I will probably start that this evening while I'm making supper because I love listening to books on Audible and I have a lot of them in my library and I'm currently just kind of going through a phase where I wanted to reread the Harry Potter books and the Harry Potter books on Audible are the British versions of the books, not the North American ones, and they have extra chapters. So to say I'm not thriving <laughs> would be a blatant lie. Um, what am I most excited to do this summer? This is gonna be the first summer in a long time in Newfoundland where we can't do anything. All over the world can't do anything because it's quarantine. Um, if you live in Newfoundland, you know summer is very short-lived. We've had snow in June 
many, many times in my life. The fact that like it's 19 degrees today is like exciting for me. It actually makes me happy because it's like, whoa, what does one do with weather that you don't have to wear gloves? I literally got my winter tires taken off my car two days ago because it snowed like seven days ago. So it changes very quickly and it can get cold very quickly. So to say I'm looking forward to just, I'm looking forward to not having to shovel, not having to wear gloves, being able to go for a walk in the evening with like a long sleeve shirt on, that's it. Like instead of a fleece sweater and have gloves in my pocket, that's probably the most exciting thing. That's probably my favorite thing about summer is not having to wear two or three layers of clothes to go for a walk. But it's the little things in life. Um, it is iceberg season in June in St. John's or in Newfoundland. We can't really go do a lot of exploring because of social distancing, but I happen to live in a place that brings nature to you. So I love iceberg and whale season. Not on the boats or anything, but like just going and climbing on the side of a cliff and hanging out and just being being one with the world. I live in a place that gives me beauty, so naturally I'm going to take advantage of it. I'm a very simple being. Summer's not my favorite season. Everyone, everyone here is like summer, we love warm weather, we love summer, and I'm like, I'm a fall girl. Fall is my favorite time of year, but I digress. Summer is here, I hope. I mean, it could still snow. I have zero expectations for nice weather after winter. But um, that's the Summer Love and Tag, originally done by Fleur de Force. If you guys want to do it, go ahead, either answer the questions in the comments down below. I will put the questions in the description box so you can just quickly see them again for reference. What, like, can you answer them? Like, leave me comments. I want to read them all. I want to talk about it with you in the comments. And I want to tag Shauna, Liz, Nicole, Kayla, and Sarah, my like immediate YouTube squad, to do this. And if you guys have a YouTube channel, feel free to go ahead and do this tag. Let's bring it back for 2014. And, um, and that's it for me. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Bye!